First up, the ukulele. I got this ukulele in Hawaii in the early 2000s. It's made out of mahogany, which was apparently grown on the island. Uh, notice how I said ukulele and not ukulele. So anyhow, uh, ukulele means jumping flea or dancing flea. Now I do realize this is one string too many, but you can tune it however you like. So I just tune it just to be just similar to uh, the, the patterns that I know in my mind. Loads of fun to play and they're small. The thing with the ukulele is you're not supposed to wear a strap. You're always supposed to pluck with your fingers and then pluck in the middle of from here to the bridge. You always pluck in the middle. So if your hand goes down, then you're going to pluck in the middle. If your hand goes up, then you're going to pluck in the middle. So that's kind of just a, a rule of thumb with the ukulele. Next, the drums. Sounds, <coughs> snare. One, two, three, four. Next, six strings or three strings too many. This is an Epiphone Dove. And we are tuned open G. And we're gonna play the slide. Get all crazy and get all nuts. So anyhow, nice guitar, huh? Next is a three-string cigar box guitar, handcrafted by moi. So in this one here, we are tuned E, B, E. Before I do anything, notice how this has got some lipstick on it, and this one doesn't. We're going to fix that right here, right now. Got me some lipstick. It's an orange magic marker. And all I'm going to do is kind of go around the edges here. Building cigar box guitar is part science, part arts and crafts. So this is the arts and crafts part. I think it even smells like an orange. left-handed strat with the strings like normal for a lefty but oh my gosh dude you want to be confused 
Hello. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. Um, yeah, try picking up a left-handed guitar and then playing your chords. It's like, whew. Psycho. So I got this thing all tuned up. So this would be a D chord upside down, right? A. E. So it's got a good sound, but it's like backwards. Then play your licks. Next, we are going to put the harm in harmonica. This is one of those little minis, little keychain dudes. It's about, the whole thing is about an inch. It's got a little keychain, little connector right there. And it's in the key of C. So you tune up your guitar to open key C and then you just. So what I try to do is try to just play a scale. I told you I'd put the harm in harmonica. Hmm. Is it upside down, maybe? Anyhow, I wanted to show you this poster here. These are all the guitar players of rock and roll history. Got Ace Frehley up here. Uh, let's see here. There's John Lennon, Elvis, um, Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix, Slash. He's not that good. Oh, look, there's a cigar box guitar dude right there. Um, Eddie Van Halen. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, it says Rock and Roll Theater. Theater. All right, guys. <laughs> Next, the Telecaster. Now what I like to do with these things here is take these things off and then I just tape that thing down so the pickup wouldn't fall against the strings, but I need the action right here. And so if I take that pick guard off, then I get better action. So the telly, you always want to be on this pickup anyway. That way you get that. chicken pick. Ah. Next is the... <sighs> Alright, check this out. Everybody knows this one, right? Rolling. 
Next is the bass, which is only one string too many. Uh, there's many ways to play the bass. What I like to do is just rest my thumb here on this pickup and then let my fingers do the walking. Funky slap. Palm mute it. You can get all jicky up in the top. You can do the slapping and popping. That's when you go like slap down, boom, but then you grab your finger and pop it up. You also can get machine gun sounds. Quick shout out to my favorite bass player, Scotty. Next up is my Martin. Triple O dash R for Rosewood. I bought it brand new in 1995 and I did install a Fishman into it. Beautiful guitar. I put new strings on it. So let's see if I can remember how to play this thing. Here goes nothing. So in case of a fire, there's the nearest exit. All right, everybody's favorite knob, the psycho knob. Three string cigar box guitar that is a non cigar box guitar. Notice how the bridge here is a battery. String catch, it's a hinge, I have stickers inside and out springs for reverb in fact this thing even opens up and doubles as a mouse trap so here is the psycho knob first of all unplugged plug this thing in and this is the single coil and the piezo so let's I put them in both so I get half single 
half piezo. Psycho. So this is a five stage gain. One, two, three. Next, we are going to don this beautiful red strat. So when you're playing a red strat with a red strap, you need to don your red cap. Next we have America and a bunch of rules. I don't know if you can read that, but I did want to show you here the nickel, the little corner top, tuners, scarf joint, the wings, the decal on the neck, we the people, pickup, custom paint job, the hinge for the string catch, saddle, custom paint job. I, but I also wanted to show you real quick the back here. So you can see right here, this pickup wire just goes right through here. You comes all the way up here to the potentiometer. And also there's a little wire underneath that little blue wire tie that goes to the underside of the piezo that goes under, under, underneath the saddle here. So I have both pickups, the humbucker or the single coil here and the piezo, they go, both go to the potentiometer and then the output of the potentiometer is straight to this little jack here. And of course it is grounded to the, the um, hinge here. And then of course I have a nice little strap button here so I can put a strap on it. So let's see here if I can butcher the Star Spangled Banner. about as far as I can get, folks. All right. America! Don't forget to follow the rules, kids. Do not step on anyone's blue suede shoes. All right. 
Next up is one of my favorite four string cigar box guitars. This is the Java box that has been painted turquoise. And this pickup here, oh my gosh, this pickup sounds yummy. But I did want to point out the tuner bushings on this thing here. Look how the tuner bushings are painted the same color as the box. I do have springs on this side here, two springs. And um, the unique thing about this one here is that this volume control controls this pickup and this volume control controls the pickup underneath the saddle. And they both function as master volumes, full blast and then off. And then this one also shuts it off. So I can get a balance between piezo and humbucker. So I'm tuned C, G, C, E. That's a one, five, one, three tuning. Perfect for the slide. And then finally, folks, the ultimate instrument, the human voice. Have you heard that song that goes boots and cats? Boots and cats and 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 boots. Boots and boots and boots and boots and boots and boots and boots. Oh yeah, and you can do this. Turn up the bass. Turn up the bass. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, be sure to comment, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget my Patreon account where I archive all of my live stream videos. All right, tell me what you think. Well, that's not working. Why don't you just leave a comment below? All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.